hi good people welcome to my channel so in today's video i'm making pumpkin or butternut or malenge chapati so stay to the video i'll start by mashing my boiled butternut or malenge or whatever you call it this is the small one i just boiled it so i'll smash it till smooth and uh, i'm using all purpose with flour i'll go ahead and mix uh, my mashed malenge with the i'll add it to my all purpose wheat flour i just added one tablespoon of sugar and a half tablespoon of salt i'll go ahead and mix and guys just like normal chapati the secret to soft well layered chapati is making soft dough so i'll go ahead and mix everything together until the dough is ready and soft and well i'm at it please guys if you haven't subscribed to this beautiful channel uh please please hit the subscription button it's all free guys subscribe because i upload almost every day new videos just using ordinary stuff ordinary kitchen ingredients to make ordinary nice but nice meals so my dad is almost ready i've added some cooking oil just to make sure everything is soft and i'll continue uh, kneading till it's very soft then i'll keep it for like 20 to 30 minutes if you don't have much time you can just let it rest for like 10 minutes So this is after 30 minutes i let it rest and it is well rested as you see it's soft uh the next step is i'll divide into two big balls and make one big chapati base and uh this is where now the you know this is where you get layers so watch So I apply some cooking oil and sprinkle some dry flour. So the purpose of adding oil on top of this base and flour is just to make sure the chapati will have layers, you know. So that's how they look like at this stage and uh, the next thing is uh, rolling them and uh, now making the real normal size chapati base then pre-cook them. I find pre-cooking chapati before going to the last stage, uh, I find it easier, it makes my work easier and fast, you know. also your chapati size should be according to your pan size this means there'll be different mine is this size medium not big not small and also your heat should be low if it's high it means they may you know overcook them or you know they may get dry so this that looks i'll keep this aside and do the same process till they are all done then go to the next step Mm -hmm. 
done with pre-cooking so this is the last step and it's always the easier one if you ask me i've increased my heat to the medium and uh this way we are now cooking chapati this is the last step no rolling so let's see So far so good the heat is good the chapati are coming out so nice so i'll be taking mine with uh beef stew i don't know what you love taking chapati with but to be honest i love chapati more with the like kamande or ndengu or beans especially with coconut but anyway today i'll be taking it actually it's pork stew not even beef stew but it's all good so as you see it's all coming out well and guys kindly remember to hit the subscription button as i said this kitchen is all about just ordinary cooking uh but african food east african food kenyan food i uh, really appreciate i uh, really appreciate it just down there all you need is just to click and uh you'll be getting notification time i upload a video and as i said i upload almost every day you know just simple ordinary video using simple ingredients uh, I hope you enjoyed this video guys as you can see the chapatis have come out so well they are soft layered you know everything good i'm happy the results were amazing i hope you've enjoyed kindly before you leave this video give it a like subscribe and see you next in my video as you can see let me enjoy my well soft layered chapati see you goodbye